rear the Tyrannosaurus sets, uh, we created a volleyball setting machine. Um, so basically this device is for anyone who either doesn't have friends, like some of us, or um, if you um, are trying to get really consistent sets in the same point. Uh, it really helps to be able to practice hitting uh, when you have the, same, the ball at the same point all the time. So uh, that's why we have uh, this device and why we've created it and we'll uh, walk you through it. But before we, um, before we walk you through, through the project, we're actually just going to demonstrate it real fast, do a quick launch. So uh, we're gonna, you just feed the ball into, uh, into the slot here. We've got the safety enclosure so you can't get your fingers caught in the wheels and everything. Um, once the ball's in there, uh, we have a user interface here, which we'll talk about later. Uh, you can choose your set. Um, it's got a diagram to show you where you want it. Three, two, one. So we're going to demonstrate it again uh, on a much lower set uh, so we don't break anything. Um, right. that, was, that was only about the that was only the third setting. We have five different, five different height settings. Um, so that was only the third one. We've got a lot more power on it with some big uh, motors, which we'll talk about in a second. But uh, just so you can see all the components working together, we're going to set something that we've programmed down. So it's a very, very slow set. Uh, it's not really one that's ever going to be usable, but it's great for demonstration. All right. So you can see how obviously the wheels are going about an eighth of as fast as they could, um, but uh, you can see as a demonstration the wheels are spinning and launch the ball off. So kind of the first thing that you see is this main user interface, and what this is is this is an NTSC TV, and it's run by an Arduino Mega that we had to use because it needs a lot of RAM to go through it. So. The entire user interface as a whole is run off of that Arduino Mega, and there is a button controller here that allows you to index through the menu screen. So there's a few different options. It lets you choose a set manually. Um, it also, which then you can index through and choose, uh, and pretty much the sets, what they control is the motor speed. Um, there's also an option for Set Express, and what that is is kind of a permanent user-based system, and how that <laughs> works is you can store values of kind of preferred victory song, um, set and delay before set inside the uh, double EEPROM of the Arduino Mega as well so it can read that so that even when the device turns off you still have kind of those user settings already put in for you which can be really useful if you're wanting to use the machine a lot. Once you actually do set a set launch what that does is that sends a signal over to our Arduino Uno, which is controlling both of these 24 watt motors here. Um, those motors are powered off of these two 12 volt batteries in series with each other to give a lot of power since we needed a lot for the set to come out. And then that launch signal is sent to the PIC, which controls the final linear actuator system. One is manually indexed uh, for a proper angle whenever you want to launch something. So that's really useful because if you buy this and you want to use it for a men's net or women's regulation net, that's going to vary. Similarly with this, we have a four relay configuration controlled by the pick in our brains here. And that is what feeds the volleyball. The pick also controls our passive infrared sensor, which is for our safety mechanism. If it notices motion in front of the machine, someone's standing right here and they can get hit, it's going to stop the um, progression of the linear actuator and then retract it so the ball isn't actually launched. Then gets in the way, there's a one second pause, but then it retracts it so the ball doesn't actually contact the wheels and launch. And Arduino Mega here is kind of the main brains of what is running the system as a whole. It runs the TV and the button pad um, and indexes, uh, sorry, interfaces with both the Arduino Uno and the MP3 trigger board. So it is able to play sounds as well as tell the UNO via a uh, four-digit binary signal uh, across to the UNO with digital lines what set number and what delay that it needs to launch later. After that, the Arduino UNO runs a 24-volt motor system via the Megamoto motor shield, which works really well for our applications. And it is also interfaced to the MP3 trigger board as well as being interfaced to the PIC. Um, all of the boards on here are powered by this power strip because they all have uh, 9 volt power supplies running to them. And then the linear actuators are controlled 
with um, this 12 volt power supply here. The PIC controls the main feed actuator. Uh, we get a signal from the Arduino Uno and that tells us that we are now in the launch sequence.